This segment brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, offering state-of-the-art cancer treatment in Pahrump. A little hope goes a long way. Nye County Clerk Sandra Merlino spoke to News 46 about the upcoming election. Candidate filing starts Monday, March 5th, and it runs through uh, Friday, March 16th. So be sure you bring your money, your ID, your proof of residency, all of that. So you do have a week to withdraw if you change your mind. Um, the primary election is June 12th, so I know everybody's gearing up and getting ready. It's going to be a huge ballot. I think we have a lot of good candidates, and... Um, you know, we're very excited. We have a lot, we just received new election equipment and we've just tested it. So we'll be getting out there to the community to let everybody view that equipment and test it out a little bit. Tell me about the new equipment. Well, it's uh, the newest version of our old Dominion equipment. They're large tablets, but we also will have electronic poll books, which is a, a huge new thing for most people in, in these rural counties. Um, we won't have those large paper poll books anymore. So um, we should be able to process people a lot faster. We'll have a lot more tables with only two people working at each table, so we should be able to process people very quickly. When's early voting? Starts May 26th and it runs through June 8th. <laughs> and what should you do for absentee ballots? And um, just we have the forms online or they can call our office yeah. and we're happy to send the form to them and it, we have to receive that form the Tuesday prior to the election in order to get them a ballot but the earlier the better. So as soon as the candidate filing closes you'll be able to see online who the candidates are and the, then you'll be getting your book in the mail? Yes, I'll try to update it daily, at least on my website. If you go to nightcounty.org, um, go to the clerks and elections. And then usually it takes us probably a month or two to get the ballot styles and everything going. Most of the time you receive your sample ballots about a week before early voting starts. It just takes that long. All right, and we're going to have the same polling areas here? Actually, we are cutting down the high school for the primary election, so we will only be voting at Bob Rood. Early voting is going to be at Bob Rood, and so will election day for the primary. We're going to give it a try. So not the clerk's office? No. All right. And for more information, they can contact you? Absolutely. Nye County Commissioner Butch Baraski nominated a veteran who has been the driver of the Bet Trans bus for a number of years to receive the Andre Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award. Dr. Tom Waters presented the award this morning. Hi, I am so happy to be here this morning. Uh, one of the things I want to say, and I know nobody's expecting this, is the fact that I am honored to be able to work with Deanna O'Donnell whenever we have any type of awards. But for this, this special award, you know, we have Arnold, who every, every time I've mentioned his name when we talk about <laughs> vet trans, everybody says, this man should receive an award. And we hadn't really thought about that. But Arnold, no matter where we go, no matter who we talk to, have all said he should receive an award. Uh, just because of all he's done, not just for vet trans, but just for veterans and everybody. Arnold is a people's person. And for that, people love him. And so for this, we wanted to make sure that we presented him with the Andre Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award. And it's good to even talk about Butch Harper because we also have Butch Baraski, our commissioner, who also said Arnold deserves this award. So let me read the award to you. It says, in memory of Andre Butch Harper, Act of Kindness Award presented to Arnold Bluter for years of dedication to our veterans and community. From the citizens of Pahrump, Nevada, no act of kindness is ever wasted. And Arnold, for you, that, that speaks volumes. I'd like, I'd like to thank you for all you've done for our community, all you've done for veterans. Just to say thank you, what would you like to say? Well, I'd like to say I appreciate it, and it's a shock that I did get something this is the first award I've ever got in over all my years of handling people in that. And I'd like to thank Butch here and my wife, you, and that man that's trying to take a picture over there. When I went to work for him over a year ago, he said, it's yours. Make it work. We started out with 15 clients. We have almost 200 clients now, and I have been 
really working hard to make sure all of our brothers and sisters yeah. is taken care of. And I appreciate this. And I'm about ready to cry. Well, I'd, I'd just like to say it's an honor and privilege to even know this man. And uh, when I found out what he's been doing and uh, for our veterans and, and, you know, giving up his own time, hours and hours and hours and hours, and donating his personal time, I, I got a hold of Tom and Deanna, and I said, we need to give this man this award because Butch Harper would have wanted him to have it. You know, Dr. Tom Waters said that he's honored to work with me. Well, I'm very honored to work with him and have him present our Andre Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award. This morning I learned that he's a light bird, which I didn't even know what a light bird was. A light bird is a lieutenant colonel. A bird's a colonel. I didn't even know that. Well, we'll be right back in just a moment with your news across Nevada.